Hello, hello, welcome back to my channel. This is Amy Milan, and you are watching Life with Ames. And today is going to be a... So today I received quite a few packages. Um, I just did a video about the Spider-Man Scentsy Buddy and the cool scent circles that came with it. And I also received the box of my new fall, winter testers. I'm going to do... Ugh, a first sniff with it with you guys and here you go like right away it already smells like fall okay, so I'm just gonna be doing um, the first sniffs for the uh, new releases for this season because it's a lot but we did get some of the oldies but goodies back like cider mill um, pumpkin roll that's such an amazing scent um, farmhouse fur which was new from last year um, very Berry Cranberry, which is an amazing scent, and it came out as a break, or no, it was at Christmas Cottage. Vanilla Mint, one of my all-time favorite um, winter, fall winter scents. Christmas Cottage, that's the one that came out as a brick last year. Hug and a Mug, all the good stuff. So, we still have all the good stuff, and this bag just smells like fall. Like, I'm in love. I cannot wait. Let's start off with the first sniffs of the new releases for the fall winter uh, line 2019. Let's start off with... Huckleberry Wreath. Huckleberry Wreath is part of the fresh um, category. And the description is, for the holidays or any days, crimson red currant and a handful of huckleberries brighten a wreath of frosted fur. I think it's going to be a little fruity. No, this is my very first time smelling these, so it's my honest reaction. Ooh, yes. Ooh, yeah. So it's fruity, but it's not like a summery feel fruity. Like, it has a little bit of that spice in it. Like, cozy fall feel, you know? Like, it's kind of a mix of cider and huckleberry together, which is very good. I feel like it's not going to be a really strong performer. Like, it kind of reminds... This kind of reminds me of winterberry apple tea. Like, it kind of reminds me of that, but it's a little bit more huckleberry or a little bit more berry. Instead of the apple, it would be huckleberry. So, yeah. This is a great scent. I think I'm going to like this. I'm going to definitely... Yeah order it. Next one is brownie batter. I'm super excited about this. This is obviously part of the bakery line and the description is rich heavily notes of baked brownie, cocoa powder, and vanilla bean will set the stage for some serious cravings. This scent alone is going to cause me to gain like 20 pounds but if it smells good it's worth it yeah. Ugh. Oh my goodness this smells just like brownie. <laughs> Like, you just pulled it out of the oven and, like, she's like, there you go. I'm going to hide all the brownie mixes in my house. Yeah. Next one is Fiddle Leaf Fig. Now, these names are so cute. And this is part of the Refresh line. Description is a botanical heaven brimming with wild fern, mission fig, and a hint of crushed rosemary and coconut water. I'm feeling like this is going to be a little bit more herby. Ooh. Oh. 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 So this is what happened. When I right away smelled it, it smelled very fresh and clean. As soon as I put some heat on it, the wild fern scent just came out. Maybe it's the coconut water that I first smelled. I think it's the rosemary that's coming out too. Yeah, the more of the herbaly scent is coming out. Like you're into like the tomato vine scent. Um, it's not as bad as a tomato vine for my, my opinion. But if you're into that scent type of scent, you're going to like this. Or the fresh cut grass scent that we had a while ago. If you're into like that kind of stuff, um, like the outdoorsy, like grassy scents, you're going to like this. It's got a lot of that grassy note behind it. But it's also the coconut makes it feel like very clean and refreshing. Oh, I like it. I actually like this. Like this. this is something I can hang with. So I'm going to have to try to warm this. This is a fiddle leaf fig. Next scent is maple apple bourbon. Now, I'm always scared whenever something scented with bourbon. Just the smell of alcohol makes me want to puke. Juicy red apple and rich maple get in the holiday spirit with a splash of bourbon. I'm really, for some reason, I feel like I'm going to get a lot of the bourbon in this, but I could be wrong. Maybe the apple will like be the star of the show. Ooh, okay. Okay, this smells like something. Definitely smell the apple. God, it's reminding me of something. It's driving me crazy. Like it reminds me of like a fruit or something or some kind of drink. This is a great scent. It kind of reminds me of the apples. What is that? Apple cinnamon. Apple and cinnamon sticks. It kind of reminds me of that. I do smell a hint of the bourbon, but it's not bad. Well, it'll make me want to puke, you know? Oh, it smells so good. I would definitely warm this. The maple apple... I think the mix of the maple and the apple, like the syrupy kind of scent with the apple, is 
such an interesting smell, but it's so good. Oh, this is a perfect fall scent. Definitely a great fall scent. Another, I think, great transition scent. So yeah, this is Maple Apple Bourbon. Next one is Blood Orange Spice. Now when I saw this, I was actually really excited because I love anything that's like citrusy with a spice to it. Like, you know, grapefruit spice. So the description for this is, this sweet tart trio of candied apple, blood orange puree, and cinnamon stick will satisfy your autumn obsession. And this is part of the spice um, categories. Mm, okay, interesting. Okay, I smell more of the red, um, the blood orange, and it's not a citrusy scent. It's like a like a sweet orange smell. Like if you open like a small tangerine, or even if you just open up a blood orange. That's exactly what you smell. Not so much spice. And it doesn't seem like it would be a strong performer. It would give like a really sweet scent. I'm willing to try it and see how it is warm. Cold, I'm not really, like the scents or the notes are not really coming out as strong as I thought they would. I smell more of the blood orange, but I kind of have to like sniff for that. So yeah, blood orange spice. All right, next scent is a first day of fall. The description is all the best parts are here. Just pick pumpkin, a breath of autumn woods, ground nutmeg, and a dash of cinnamon. All the elements you need to make it like fall AF. And this is part of the um, the spice category. So let's see how fall this is. Oh my God. Ooh, I'm loving this. I am loving this scent. Oh my goodness, I'm loving it, I'm loving it, I'm loving it. Oh, this definitely screams fall. All I smell is fall. It's amazing. I definitely smell the pumpkin. Not so much the cinnamon. The nutmeg is going through. Autumn woods. It does give that kind of crisp feeling of fall. I love it. This is such a great... September 1st, you are going in my warmer scent. If you want the fall feels, this is the scent that you want in your warmer. Oh my god, this is amazing. Like, it's not too strong of the fall scent. Like, not too many spices, not too pumpkin-y or sweet. It's just what you need to get you, like, in that fall mood. First day of fall, yeah, definitely. Next one is Stroop Waffle Delight. Now, I don't know what a Stroop Waffle is. I'm going to Google it and put a picture here. Description for this is a cozy twist on a traditional Dutch treat made with creamy vanilla, rich melted butter, and cinnamon. Now this is part of the um, pastry line. <sighs> Let's see what this smells like. I might get hungry. Ooh! Oh my god, this smells like... You know what this smells like? This smells like, um... This smells like the Jelly Belly buttered popcorn um, jelly bean. Oh my god, I just want to eat this. <laughs> I don't know what a Stroop waffle is, so I don't know if it smells exactly like it. But if it smells like this, I want to get one. Mmm, the melted butter I think is what gives me that like um, melted, uh, the buttered popcorn vibe. The cinnamon, I don't really smell it so much, but I do smell the vanilla. This is, an, this is a great scent. If you guys love the smell of that jelly bean, just if you don't know what that jelly bean smells like, buy one today, take a bite of it, smell it, and that's exactly what this smells like. Yeah, Stroop Waffle Delight. It's great. I love this. Ugh, love it. Mm. Next scent is... Grapefruit and Grenadine. Now, I'm super excited about this. As soon as I saw Grapefruit, I was like, okay! Yes. You know how I feel about my citrus scents. This is part of the citrus line or citrus category. The description is splashes of sparkling grapefruit and juicy pomegranate are garnished with zesty orange peel in the ultimate Mary mocktail. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, this smells so good. This really reminds me of spring, the Spring Forward scent. If you guys are in love with that scent, you are going to be in love with this. It doesn't give me any of the fall vibes, but um, it's a great, like, um, for me, I feel like it would be a great transition from fall to winter scent. The winter scents are kind of more like uh, the potpourri orange kind of scent, and this is very close to that. So, I'm all about this. Oh my gosh. Amazing! Grapefruit and grenadine. I don't smell the grenadine so much, but the grapefruit comes out so much. It's just like the spring forward scent. So yeah, grapefruit and grenadine. Two more. Next one is candied cranberry pecan. Okay, as soon as I saw this, I was just like, what? But the description is classic cranberries and pecans are sweetened by sugarcane and a ribbon of brandied plum. And this is part of the pastry um, category. I'm excited. I just want to see how these two mix together. Mmm, mmm. 
Oh my goodness, this smells amazing. Okay, I don't smell the nuttiness of the pecan so much. The pecan tones down the candied, um, the candied cranberry smell because it is sweet and it does have that little spice to it. It's a great like balance of the the pecan scent and the um, the candy cranberry, but I smell more of the candy cranberry. But it's not as strong as I thought a candy cranberry would be. Like I really think the pecan is like um, I really think that the pecan is toning it down. This kind of reminds me of the God. It came out last year. Apple cherry strudel. Yeah, this is oh so good. It's great. Candy cranberry pecan. Oh my god, you guys, I'm gonna buy like all of these scents. It's crazy. Last one, guys. I'm snow over it. I mean, come on, wordplay. Get in there. This scent is part of the refresh category, and the description is you know you love it. Sage whispering pine and cedarwood bursting with bright berries will rekindle your winter romance. I kind of feel like this is gonna smell similar to Eskimo's Kiss. Okay, let me smell my skin because all these scents are kind of messing up my senses. Okay. Fun fact. You know, like people always say smell coffee beans to kind of erase this previous scent that you smelled. Another thing you can use if you don't have coffee beans on hand is smell your skin. Erased. Let's smell. Oh. This reminds me of the Olaf uh, brick that came out. What's it called? Um, warm hugs. It smells so good. It's mixed with something else. It's mixed with something else. <laughs> yeah, it smells very similar to warm hugs. With a little bit of, um, what is that, ginger spruce or one of the, the blue Christmas. But a l lot more toned down. So just think warm hugs mixed with uh, blue spruce. I think it's blue spruce. Those two together, but toned down a lot. It's very good. Definitely more of a holiday scent, but if you want the holiday during the fall, hey. To each their own, right? This is a great scent. I like it. It's a little bit stronger than uh, Warm Hugs, I have to say, and because it has more of like that sprucey kind of scent to it. But yeah, this is this is good. I'm snow over it. You guys, I freaking love every single one of these scents. This is all that's gonna be warming in my house all fall and winter. I'm super excited. That is my first sniffs review for the new releases of the fall winter line 2019. Like I said, we still have the other fall winter scents that um, have come out from previous years. Thank you guys again for watching this video. Please give it a like if you like it. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more Scentsy videos done by me. Or if you want to see any more lifestyle vlogs of what it's like to live as a military wife living overseas in Japan. Thank you guys again. I'll put the link down below. Hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you again next time. Peace.